The fourth scope is the YCBCR Parade Scope. And it's a scope that has virtually no practical purpose, and we're not going to use it in this course. But there is some academic value to it, so I want to show you the YCBCR Scope in this lesson. To follow along, go to Working Files, go to Premier Pro Projects, and open up the Parade Scopes project. I have the YCBCR Parade Scope already open. If you don't have it open, go to the Reference Monitor here, go to the Panel menu there, and click on the YCBCR Parade. Now I've got this image front and center as well, because this is an image from Wikipedia. It's the Wikipedia Commons image that shows the YCBCR breakdown, and I'll show you that in a second. The YCBCR technology is an important concept to understand because it is how virtually all video is stored and transmitted. Y is Luma, and CB is blue minus Luma, and CR is red minus Luma. Back in the early days of television, folks needed to figure out a way to store and transmit color TV. And they realized that if they stored it and transmitted it as RGB, it would take up too much space because RGB is redundant. You have Luma values in all three of those channels, and you don't need to have Luma values in all three channels. You can have it in one and save space, plus you can ensure that the Luma is very high quality. So they split out the Luma, the black and white, the grayscale, into one of those three channels. Then they figured out a way to display color by using just two channels instead of three, the so-called CB and the CR, the blue minus Luma and the red minus Luma. So that's how video is stored in its native format and transmitted. What happens inside Premiere is that it takes that YCBCR signal and converts it to RGB for display in a computer monitor. But internally, it's handling it as YCBCR. So here's the scope that shows what's going on under the hood. So let's just take a look at these images here. Right now, you're seeing the Luma here on the left-hand side, and then the CB, the blue minus Luma here, and the CR, the red minus Luma. Now ignore these colors here, the cyan, magenta, and yellow. These are just for reference purposes. They aren't really the true colors there. And you're seeing the full range across this image. Now there's a problem right off the bat with the YCBCR Parade scope. It just doesn't work properly. I'll show you why. Here's Luma. Note that it goes from about 7.5 to 92, which is the old analog range for video signals, which no longer really applies to most things. But there it is anyways, and there's no way to switch this off. It's just stuck there. If I go to the waveform monitor by clicking on this and going to the YC waveform, you'll see that this image goes all the way from 0 to 100, which is good. It's a well-exposed image, properly exposed with a full range of Luma. So the YCBCR parade scope is not working properly in terms of Luma. Back to that one. Nevertheless, again, it's a good academic exercise to see how it works. I want to go forward here a little bit. I'm going to open up the effect controls panel for this guy and just go to the next keyframe here where I've got the black and white version of this clip. I'll show you how that works. I'll go to the project panel here, go to that image. Open it here in the source monitor. You see it's a tall image. We're going to this part of the image now. Go back to the reference monitor. So you see that the signal is broken out into Luma here. And you see there's no CB and CR. You do see a little bit of color there, but this little line here for CB and CR is the zero line for those two things. Even though it's 50 over here, this really means zero on this right-hand side. This zero to 100 is the Luma. This can be considered zero here, in the negative values and positive values. So that's Luma. Let's go to the next thing, which is CB. Now you see the CB values, and you see what CB looks like. You see that blue minus Luma looks like that. And you see their positive and negative values here. We'll go to the next one here. And that's CR. That's red minus Luma. So the three things combined create a full tonality range, full color signal. Another reason to know about this is that under the hood, behind the scenes, some video effects work only in the YCBCR space. And you can see that by going to effects here, clicking on that tab and clicking on this badge, the YUV badge. And that shows all effects that work inside the YCBCR space. They use YUV here interchangeably with YCBCR. In fact, they're two different things, but they're so close together that people use these terms interchangeably. YUV is generally used when you're talking about analog signals and YCBCR is generally used when you're talking about digital, but they're so closely related that people use them interchangeably. So here in Premiere Pro, effects that have that YUV badge work in the native YCBCR space, and that's a good thing. That means the effect is applied directly to the original video signal, not the one that's been converted to RGB and then converted back to YCBCR for export. And you'll notice that a whole lot of color correction effects have that badge, which is a good thing. It means that the Premiere Pro effects are working natively on the original signal, which ultimately means the effect works better. So it's good to know that under the hood, these YUV badged effects are actually working better than you might expect. I do want to show you one more thing. Let's take a look at these color bars over here. I'll show you how they show up inside the YCBCR Parade scope. You notice that Luma goes from here and goes on up. 
But the CB and CR starts at the middle here. That's because this is the zero line. If you notice this side, this CB, that's blue minus luma. This first line here, there's no blue because it's red. The next three, there's magenta, blue, and cyan. All three of these guys have some amount of blue in them. Blue here, the one in the middle, has the most, obviously. There's magenta and cyan. And then green and yellow have no blue in it. So you see how that drops down there. So this is how the blue minus luma thing works. Over here on the red minus luma thing, you see how that works. The first two have quite a bit of red in it. There's red. That's this red indicator right there. Next one's magenta, so there's plenty of red in it. But there's no red inside blue, cyan, or green. And there's some red inside yellow, because yellow is a mixture of green and red. So that's how the YCBCR parade scope works. It's not likely something that you'll ever use on a practical level, but I think it is important to know what's going on under the hood here inside Premiere Pro.